forces a turnover. Arkansas starting five. It's been pretty consistent for them this season. They rely a lot on the three ball. And, oh, the freshman from Croatia run the point a lot in her absence. I'm keeping an eye on Chelsea Dungy. Being guarded by nobody. And for the first time tonight, you saw her numbers there. A very good free throw shooter. Mike Neighbor says that he spends as much time on a game plan as he does on his COVID in information. And you can see that little chip from Connexon. It is mandatory for all SEC chain teams. That connection chip has a contact tracing chip that they look on their computer and make sure that people who've been diagnosed with COVID or you got a lot of experience against Georgetown. She was a little hesitant to shoot the ball at first, but you can tell she's more confident. And I'm sure Gina or Emma addressed, listen, you're open, you got to pull the trigger. Well, she said after that game she wasn't satisfied with her performance. She really wants to work on improving. Ramirez, because she is offensive-minded, she can shoot the three and now has added the mid-range to her game. Spent two seasons at TCU before transferring to Arkansas and really fitting into this style of play. Dun Defensively, she was the one that came down and sacrificed her body, drawing the offensive foul. Drawing the charge. UConn, Olivia Nelson Adota only played 10 minutes in the first half got into foul trouble, did not score, and did not have a rebound. I was surprised to see her start in this second half because Edwards, Aaliyah Edwards came in in 10. Just the second time these two teams are playing, the first time since 1998. Arkansas is trying to get back on track against ranked teams. They are one and five against ranked opponents this season. Dungy to spin. My back to back buckets. Remember, she only had five points in the first half. Dungy can't potentially even get a Chelsea Dungy in some foul trouble. But right now, zeros for Olivia Nelson Adota. Yeah, no rebounds, no points. And Beckers. Ramirez, not much help. Dota got into foul trouble and gave UConn on Mir McLean. Players who are not available due to COVID related issues. Just like we talked about, Chelsea Dungy doesn't want to lose. Neither does Kristen Williams coming home to play for the first time in her college career. Taylor Thomas with the hustle to save it. Arkansas has led by as many as 13 points in the second half. Dungy. To kick the ball out to, or the easy dump to her post players inside has also been huge for the Huskies tonight. 19 points for her, five for five. Mule. Olivia Nelson Adota back in the game for UConn. Just two points and one rebound for Nelson Adota. She's only played 17 minutes. from her. It's just been different tonight. 